there's not many characters left in the dancing world. And I, he said that I'm one of the last ones. And he obviously definitely is a character. And um, I just think just generally being ourselves around each other, you know, whereas sometimes you have to be politically correct all the time, but just me and him, when we're together, I, I like our times on our own. Now, Didio, tell me what interesting fact you've learned all here today. I've learned that John came in, C6, the exact trail he took when he came all the way from Australia. And anything else? No. He was the most competitive out of all of us, for sure, because we used to do these Bobby Short trips where we'd go in a minibus all through Europe, and he would represent um, Australia and I would represent New Zealand. And I mean, it was fun to do the competitions, and I loved seeing all the new places, but John wanted to win. If you look at the, the Blackpool program and at the amateur ballroom, the whole list of champions before us were all English. And then in 1976, it changed when John won, and uh, in 1977 when we won. We helped open the door for all the international couples that have gone further in Blackpool and the other major championships around the world. We, we say in, in our business, some people are competitors, a strong competitor, and that's if you want to uh, look up to somebody and admire, that's all I would suggest. To this day, when he teaches, he's still, still mentioning Bill and Bobby, and, and not only the, the dance lessons, but the life lessons he learned from them, and, and just the, um, the, also, also the confidence that, that they brought him, which, which then brought it to a whole other level. I think when Bill and Bobby became part of Arthur Murray International, going back many years, they were the ones that actually encouraged John to come to the United States of America. They were the ones that suggested that John go into Arthur Murray Studios, which in fact is what he did. Um, so that friendship and relationship has, up until the day they both passed away, was a great love affair between John, Bill and Bobby. I was trained to give of myself by her, especially. Bill to some degree, but not as much as Bobby. And I've always tried to follow on in that regard and to try to give back a lot to dancing because dancing's been very, very kind to me. So I like to give back to other people and do what I can do to help make it better. John, I, I know John since I was, uh, I believe, 18. Uh, we were doing, me and Augusto Schiavo, my only partner in dancing life. So I started to know John since uh, he invited us through Bobby Irvine to go to dance in Miami at the US Open. He's been uh, always uh, the person to call if, if you want to uh, come over here and find a job or to, to find a partner. He's always been the person that, uh, that has, has pushed the United States uh, as, as being the leader in dancing not just pro-am dancing, but now also as professionals and amateurs. So he's always been one of the people that has uh, been the leaders of, of building what America is today. I've known John now for over 30 years and I have worked closely with him for the last 26 years here in the office. And I don't think anyone knows the kind of influence that this man really has in this business. Anyone that comes in contact with him it's almost a religious experience. He's converting followers to his passion. It's not an aggressive conversion. All you have to do is be around him, feel it, sense it, and hear him talk about it. And people want to feel that. People want to be around that. And they'll make great sacrifices to come and support him and be part of it. The underlying motivation for John still remains the dancing and the dancers. He's very, very concerned with where dancing is going and how the dancers are being treated and generally what's going on within the dancing part of the dance world. Just to know that you were looked after, not just Karen and I, but all the other competitors, we knew that with the experience of John and all his team, that we would always get the best possible um, background to compete. So the best changing rooms, the you know, best um, floors, the best music, the best adjudicators. So it, it was always a very positive point to know that the organiser was John Kimmins uh, and was a friend, as you say, and we knew that not just ours, but every competitor's be best interests were at the main point and main heart. He's so 
driven to be only around dancers. He really, John doesn't really like being around his own peer group as much as he loves to be around, especially young dancers, you know, preteens and uh, uh, children uh, developing and youth couples. He is so alive when he's in the company of dancers. And, and that passion is so warm and so inviting and so positive. And that's what I think is the essence of John. So I was 13 years old and I, uh, it was the first time I traveled abroad from Israel to have lessons um, in Italy. And I remember the day when I walked into the studio and heard John's voice and you could feel when a king is in its castle and you could feel when the voice and for me, that was a very, very exciting moment because you could understand who is in the ballroom. John said to me, the first thing he took, he took, he put his hand into his pocket and he said, do you know what this is? And I said, no, and he said, this is Arthur Murray. This is America. You should come to America. He has helped so many, many couples who had the same visions and dreams that we have both had. And I'm very proud to say that uh, John has Without doubt, you'll hear from so many other people the same story, help so many come here and help so many while they are here. John is a kind of uh, person, I think, in, in many of our lives who is a, a constant sort, uh, source of uh, support and uh, encouragement. So every time we uh, made a, a decision about our career, uh, even choice of teachers or, or trips to take or competitions to do, we always felt free that we could call him and, and get an advice uh, on what to do and he was never judgmental or pushy but always um, loving and, and um, constructive and in intelligent in his um, suggestions and in his advice. John is a mentor for many, many people all over the world. Uh, we do trust him in the business section, we trust him in the dancing, uh, the artistic side of it. Uh, his opinion count a lot for a lot of people, with great reason as well. Uh, you can trust John's opinion, whatever you like it or not. Uh, you are sure to get the truth out of him. He will criticize, of course, he'll give a positive criticism. So every time you're coming on his lesson, feeling like a world champion. So let's set up. We'll just do a little bit of waltz to start with. And I want you to watch the man's back and the lady's head in the position as it's returning. Uh, John was one of the biggest supporters of Arunas and myself getting together. And um, our partnership just achieved so many successful things. And we have to say a big thank you to John. He remembers every person that danced with every person, where they are from, how long they've danced, what year they won, what year they lost, what year they should have won, what year they should have lost. He has a full accounting of just about everyone that he really reaches. And I don't know how he does that. I can't even remember to get milk from the supermarket, but he has this amazing memory for those details. And that, that shows you that he's just so inside of it and so just part of it that, that he, it's just kind of going through his veins next to his blood. John's passion for dance is his gift and it could be sometimes his deterrent. He always, always loves incredible dancers. He loves to see great quality dancing, regardless who you are. You could be the most bad boy, or, or, or someone really naughty in the business, John still has a place for you. If you love dance and you're able to, John will be there for you. He's, he's a kind-hearted guy. He's a very, he's a very generous guy. And, um, and a lot of people have been rewarded a lot, in many ways through that. And, um, but that's him. That's, that's the friend who I began to like and who I'm obviously close to now. And, um, He's just, a, he's just a good mate. My life's a little different now. I'm going to have to continue to work, perhaps longer than I wanted at first thought, but that's okay, and I don't mind that. I have, I'm in a wonderful company. I'm very happy in my job. I love my job. But I really do love the changes in my life. That's all I care about. Make it better. Make Arthur Murray better. Make dancing better. That's, that's for me, I will go to 
Go to my death a happy man. John, congratulations on your BBC ANSI Lifetime Achievement Award. God, it's difficult to say that. Cheers, mate. Um, you've meant a lot to me. You've been so generous with everything that you've done for me since I've come to this country. All the best. John, congratulations on the BBC NC Lifetime Achievement Award. You, you, you know you've been like a father to me. No one deserves this more than you. I love you and thank you for all you've done. Cheers, mate. So, John, congratulations on your BBC NC Lifetime Achievement. I love you. Cheers. On behalf of the Johnsons, we'd like to congratulate JK on receiving the BBC and C Lifetime Achievement Award. Congrats, John. Congrats. Yeah. Trick up. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, I want to congratulate John Kimmons for this BBC and C Award he's receiving today. So well deserved, and I am proud to be here when he's receiving it. My dear John, you know how much I love you, uh, not just because you are good to me, but I like to see when you're smiling, when you're happy, and uh, how much you did good for everybody. I want to do it good for you, and I love you very much. John, my congratulations on receiving this BBCNC award for your outstanding achievement and fluence in the ballroom dance industry. Keep dancing, my friend. JK, you've had a lifetime of achievements, but I truly believe the best is yet to come. And there will never be a feather in three you don't want to see. Dear John, I would like to congratulate you on your BBC and C Lifetime Achievement Award. I am so happy you received it because you deserve it so much. And thank you for all your help from me and all the dancers across America and the world. Congratulations. Congratulations, JK, on receiving this BBC and C Lifetime Achievement Award. Congratulations. John, congratulations on this award. I'm so thrilled to be your friend. Been your friend for over 45 years. I don't know that we've got 45 years left, but whatever we've got left, let's have a great time. Dear John, so, so happy to be able to congratulate you on receiving this award from the BBC and C. It's very well deserved. I'm very happy for you. I have to send my congratulations from Jenny and our whole family. Enjoy the evening. Cheers, mate. So, John, from Henry, Karen and Marcus, Bill and Bobby and everybody that um, owe you so much, congratulations on this BB&C Lifetime Achievements Award. It couldn't have gone to anybody more special. And I think you'd appreciate that I'm having a glass of champagne at 9.30 in the morning Cheers, John. John, congratulations on receiving this great award from the BBC and C. There is no one more deserving than you, and all of us love you very, very much. God bless. So, John, as the king, you are deserving for a much bigger cup. So, congratulations for getting the award from BBC and C, one of the best competitions in America. I wish you a lot of health, happiness and may the future will only know how much you did for this world. Thank you for being you, John. Congratulations, John, on winning your BBC and C Lifetime Achievement Award. No one deserves this more than you, and I love you. Cheers. Well, John, it's that great night, the greatest night of your life, surrounded by friends who love you. My brother in arms, my brother in dance, I want to congratulate you on this wonderful award. It is a long time coming, and I hope many awards in the future. We love you, John. I love you like the brother I never had. Congratulations. So to my friend John, congratulations on the BBC and C Lifetime Achievement Award. Congratulations, you well deserved, John. Love you lots. Cheers. I'm sitting here doing this, thinking about you and doing this interview and 
I think it was a shock to you to find when you arrived here at the Embassy Ball that I haven't had a glass of good old bubbly for a long time. So here I am with a glass of water in my hand, lifting up to you, mate. All the best. Congratulations on your great honour. You deserve everything you get. And I wish you all great health, great happiness, and a long life for me. Continue to contribute to dancing as you've done for so many, many, many years. Love you, John. All the best. I'd like to be known as a really nice guy who did a lot to help dancing and dance dancers, and I'd also like to be known as a good dancer and a good teacher. And that's enough for me. <laughs>